All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First off, let's give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahushai. Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to you striving and sincere believers. All right. I'm your brother Shabagara coming to you with another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson to be edifying. I don't have a title for this one. But we're going to talk about how this word has changed this um, uh, the world. Is changing and will change the world, man. Okay. And, <clears throat> and there's an obvious difference. Um, you know, how this world is operating now. With, with the truth being out, man. You know? And they're, they're scared. They're afraid. You know, speaking on the elites. As well as lower Edomites. Of this word coming out. And, you know, the prophecies. You know? They're thinking in their head. Okay, this, this might actually could uh, come to pass, man. Because the prophets. Starting off with the elder apostles. And the elders. And brothers preaching this word, like-minded, um, we break it down in a way that it's easy to see. You know, we don't over-explain stuff. You know, you know, if you speak, if you're, um, you know, serious about being a teacher, but you make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. All right, we don't speak in some cryptic, you know. When we're prophesying and breaking things down, man, there are some things that people won't get, but, you know, and, and this world, these elites hate it, okay? And um, why? Because they're in love with um, falsehood. They're in love with lies. They're in love with vanity, okay? The prophets are just speaking the truth, man, the true prophets, okay? So let's start off with Hebrews. Okay. Four verses twelve. For the word of the Lord, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword. Okay? So this word, what's the word of the most high? What's the word of God? It's the whole book. Okay. From Genesis to Revelations and everything in between. And the Apocrypha is part of the um, the Bible, man. The word set up most high. Okay. It's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So this is the best weapon you could use, okay, to defeat anybody. Okay. Especially the wicked, man, which is Esau, Edom. Okay. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So this thing, this word pierces you, man. Okay. And it's piercing this world, man. You know, it, this, this truth has an effect on this world, man. Okay. And we, we could clearly see that these are the last days, man. Just by considering how many people are waking up. Okay. And, and the decline of, of this current rulership, man. Of these so-called superpowers. Okay, in the West, uh, dividing asunder soul and spirit. So this, you feel this deep, man, when you get rebuked. Okay, and us as well, myself included. And and of the joints and marrow, so you feel it in your bones, your ligaments. That's where your joints, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So you could tell somebody's intentions. Or is uh, or their mindset by bringing out the word, man. Depending on how they react to it, okay. Whether this person be a a, a a unclean spirit or a clean spirit, okay. These people. So this is the um, this is the truth pill, okay. It reveals everything. Let's go to Hosea. Hosea, um, 
6 verses 5. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. Okay? When you hew something, you chop it down, man. It said this word is like a sword, a two-edged sword. And I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Okay, so this mouth, this mouth is the mouth of the Lord, man. It's the Bible. And the prophets speak the words of the Lord. Okay, the true prophets. Okay, I have slain them. Okay, these people are uh, cut and um, destroyed in the spirit, man. Okay, when we tell them that um, America is going to be destroyed, we tell them how it's going to be destroyed. We're giving them a timeline, man, of, of reality. And what? And what does that do? Because Esau has gotten people used to living in a false reality, man. America's going to last forever. It's one of them. That um, there are... Uh, Everything is going to be okay. Um, they, they're going to live a happy, you know, happy ever, uh, ever after life, man. Okay, now these people, uh, the scriptures tell you there's going to be no work for Egypt. So these people are going to lose their jobs. It tells you that um, they're going to be eating each other, man. Okay. Um, it, it tells you that there's going to be a famine, uh, a severe lack of food. Okay, it tells you that there's going to be a World War Three and these people, they can sort of see it, you know, if they want to be if they're real with themselves. OK, but most people love to live in denial, man. OK, therefore, I have hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth and thy judgments are as the light that go forth, you know, and, and light is powerful, man. It touches all, man, when that sun is, you know, up in the sky, man. That light that go forth, man. Yeah, and, that, and that's the most high. Okay? And, and we're dealing with a power that's... Uh, you, you can't quantify his power, man. You can't quantify his wisdom. You can't put that in a... Um, a box. Okay? You know, just by the little things that we know, um, it said, uh, I think there's a scripture where it said, to the mystery God, uh, but he revealed certain things to, to the uh, Israelites, man. Let's, um, let's jump to Revelation 11 verses 10. Okay, now let me start at verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. That there, speaking about the Israelites, okay, spiritually dead, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So this place is America, okay, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, okay. Why is it Sodom? Because it's perversion. You know, this place, is, it, it'll defile you. Okay, it's defiled in Egypt. Why? The Israelites served slavery here. Where also our Lord was crucified. How could, how could the Lord, who's Yahweh Shah, how could he be crucified here when he got crucified in, um, I believe, Jerusalem? Okay, the land of Israel. Because it's his image. Okay, his image that was brought over here by um, the Spaniards, Portuguese. And then uh, the English and French. That's how he got. Um, our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues of the nation shall see their dead bodies three and a half days. Okay. Um, three and a half days, 350 years. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Meaning... When the Israelites are on a low condition or at the bottom, all right, out of all the nations, they they pretty much are safe, you know, ruling the earth, man. They're pretty much safe, okay? So that's why they won't put them in their graves. They won't tell you you're the Israelites, 
Uh, why? Because that's the awakening and it's a direct threat to their power structure, man. Um, if they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And that's and and that's what happened. OK, especially during slavery. Um, they were happy they took down the Israelites, man. You know, the Negro tribes and the native tribes, man. Um, shall rejoice over them, make merry, and shall send gifts to one another. That's what they did. Postcards. They were sending Jake's skin to each other, making leather out of Jake. Uh, furniture. Uh, postcards. You know? Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. Okay? So the two prophets represents the two kingdoms. All right? Uh, the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. Okay. This represents the 12 tribes of Israel. And because it says we tormented them, these two prophets. Okay. They get a little uneasy, man. All right. That's why there's a, there's a agenda to get rid of the Israelites, man. Okay. By, by your elites. And, uh, Let's jump to uh, Galatians 4, verses 16. Mm. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. All right. And that's why these people were tormented. These people hate the truth, man. They look at you in disgust when you tell them the truth, man, when you try to correct them. Um, these people love living in the law, man. They love... Um, Lusting after the flesh, okay? They love, um, it's like they're, they're big kids, man. They never grew up. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? All right? Ultimately, if you're an enemy of the truth, the Most High is going to destroy you, okay? Our people included. You know, our people hate the word, you know? The real word, not, not, not these what these Christians are saying, you know, um, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Shalom.